Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be exploring the process of importing data from an Excel file into eViews. This can be key step in data analysis. Before we start, let's briefly discuss why you might want to import data into eViews. eViews is a powerful statistical software widely used for time series and panel data analysis. Importing data allows you to explore eViews feature for in-depth analysis and visualization. So without further ado, let's start. Step 1. Ensure that your Excel file is well organized. Each column should represent a variable and each row should represent a different observation. Make sure your data is clean and free from errors. Like in our data file, we have time series data from 2015 to 2023. And we also have data for four variables. One variable is the dependent variable and other three variables are used as independent variables. So before starting data analysis, you must need to save file at some particular location in your laptop and you also need to save your file as csv format so for importing file uh, you need to open eviews window then click on file then click on import after that you need to click on import from file Find the location where you put your file. Here I save my file in desktop. Then click on this. Here I have two files of same data. One file is saved as CSV file and the other is saved in Excel. So I click on CSV file. display a preview of your data you need to click on next and then need to click on finish and there you have it importing data from an excel file to eviews is a straightforward process that open up a world of possibility for statistical analysis so by following these steps you can easily import your data into the eviews one more method is that you need to click on file click on open then click on foreign data as work file By this way, you can also import your data from Excel to eViews. So, so, like this is the uh, data for one particular variable. So, by following these steps, you can easily import your data into the eViews. If you found this tutorial helpful please like share and subscribe for more content and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos if you have any question or suggestions for future tutorials feel free to leave them in the comments below thanks for watching and see you in the next video